Hello, happy Thursday, pal talkers. Happy Thursday. This is the fabulous Bonnie Marcus, and she is here. She has an incredibly successful company that she started. Thank you. Bonnie Marcus. Bonnie Marcus Collection. Right, Bonnie Marcus Collection. And she does all sorts of amazing greeting cards, we have some more things to show here. She has celebrities that got involved in what she does. She is just amazing. So she's going to have a lot of good Thank tips for, for business people out there and also for some good holiday card ideas. You're probably all wondering uh, why I'm wearing glasses. Oh, by the way, I'm Dorothy Cassisari, Senior Editor of In Touch Weekly. Welcome to the In Touch Weekly Show. I'm not even, I'm, I'm forgetting to even introduce myself. Dorothy's fabulous, fabulous as well, <laughs> and an amazing business person, and I'm sure here she has uh, amazing tips for everyone. Oh, you're so sweet. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing these sunglasses. It's not really that bright in here, although we do have some pretty good stage lighting going on. But uh, these are Alexander McQueen's. We're going to be talking about them a little bit later for uh, some good Christmas shopping ideas. They are so cute. Aren't they? I've been bringing my viewers one great celebrity inspired Christmas gift each week. Mm -hmm. And I usually wait till the end of the show, but this week Love I had them. to start with them. Love them. So we have a lot of celebs that are fans of solstice-sunglasses.com. That's where you can find these. We'll talk about them a little bit later. Uh, oh, Carlos for NYC wants to know where those glasses for guys too. Carlos, uh, these actually are women's glasses. However, there are plenty of sunglasses out there at solstice-sunglasses.com that you can find oodles and oodles of glasses for men. So thank you for that question up front. Uh, real quick housekeeping note, if you want to ask any questions, please just do your push to talk button and Bonnie and I will be happy to answer your questions about anything and everything. Um, I want to try to turn this down a little bit. Oh, folks, for all of you that have been tuning in, I did get a new iPad after Yay. a very uh, horrible Scrooge-like person broke into my sister's car Tis and stole my purse with you my iPad in that it. A lot. I know, that wasn't very nice, but yeah. that's okay, that's okay, because I have a new one now. Oh, and how could I forget, of course we're going to be talking celebrities from the new issue of In Touch Weekly today. We have some really juicy stories. Bonnie, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to weigh in on some of these, give your opinion, of you know, course, what you're thinking. Of Courtney Kardashian, pregnant and alone, oh, nothing, nothing good's going on for that family. Mm -hmm. Jessica Simpson, emergency diet. Oh, dear Lord, Jessica, she's uh, she's on her way to packing 75 pounds at the rate she's wow. going, which is a lot. But anyway, without further ado, let's talk to Bonnie a little bit Thank you. about Bonnie Marcus Collection. Uh, so, Bonnie, you started your company. Bonnie and I went to this luncheon together a few weeks ago uh, for Little Pink Book. Yes. And it was so great, all about you know women in business and women's empowerment. Uh, men, listen, if you're in business too, we love what you're doing as well, don't worry. But, uh, but anyway, Bonnie told me about how she got her start in business. You won a contest through American Express. I did, I did. It was the American Express Make Mine a Million Dollar Business Contest. Okay. And, and, and she has made hers a million dollar business, I just in have. case anybody was wondering. I have. I mean, that's the next question that you want to ask. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I really believe in goal setting. And when I, when I won the contest, they said, okay, your business has the potential to make it to a million dollars. And I was this designer from home, and I was just, my goal was to design design beautiful things and pretty fashion forward things that my customers would love. But I never thought that I could make uh, my business a million dollar business. And I won the contest and they said your business has the potential of making it. And the following year we made it to that goal. The following year? The following year. Back in 2006. Oh my So gosh. I think that um, I always encourage ex inspiring uh, entrepreneurs to really have a goal. And tell everyone about your goal. You know, write it down and uh, tell your friends and tell your family and really make a point to try to get there. So I that love that. I love that advice. Now, you must do a lot of volume to get to the million dollar mark because it's not like you're selling, you know, uh, high price high product. price products. Yes, yes. It's not like you're selling a 295 pair of sunglasses. Yes. You know, what's the average cost of the products that you're selling? Mm -hmm. Um, our business is primarily invitations, so wedding invitations, like oh. bridal shower, engagement parties. Oh, wedding parties. invitations can get pretty pricey. I don't know if you watch yeah. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Of course. But I could not believe the Vanderpumps, the invitation that they did for Pandora's yes. wedding. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, for those of you out there that haven't seen it, it is, it's a box the size of a, of a present you would find under your Christmas tree, and you open it up, and it's this invitation. And even my boyfriend, who despises the show, 
grabbed his calculator when they were shopping for these invitations and said, they're inviting how many people to the wedding? And each invitation was 100 or That's 125 That's really funny that your pop. boyfriend's in tune to that. Uh, That's pretty impressive. I know, I know. I'm, he might be getting ready for yes, you know, yes, something. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. But we'll see. So so now, you're not selling $100 invitations, are you? No, no, okay. no. So our invitations are about um, $2 each. Okay. And they sell in you know a few thousand high-end um, stationery stores around the country, as well as on a number of invitation websites and on our own website, which is bonniemarcus.com. And in addition to invitations related to wedding, we also sell a lot of invitations related to baby showers, oh, too. Oh, okay. Now, are these the kind of invitations that you actually have to write no, out, or do you personalize them? Um, you can personalize okay. them. Okay, okay. So a number of websites, like um, findstationary.com, polkadotdesign.com, uh, invitationboxdesign.com, all um, will personalize our invitations for you. Oh. So they're all very, like, fashion-forward, very stylish invitations. Oh, I wish that I had met you and knew about your business uh, I, I just threw a shower for my best friend that got mm. married uh, in October there were 60 people there and uh -huh. I was the maid of honor and I was in charge of everything oh, I, you. I know you totally could have I ended up I ended up very happy with the invitations as she was but I'm sure I would have loved them so much more if they were from of your course, line because your stuff is amazing maybe they were and you didn't realize <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure but um, okay now let's talk a little bit about your celebrity connection yes uh, because you have celebrity cards for a cause now Bonnie is the real deal here okay because she's featured in CVS mm -hmm. and in Target yes if anyone's ever heard of those two little mom-and-pop <laughs> shops I don't know if you might have one in your area but really that's incredible thank that is you really impressive. thank you and you have Marsha Cross uh, Angie Everhart and Molly Sims oh mm -hmm. I love Molly Sims she's fabulous I have you. interviewed her so many times and I just love what she does now what did they do they designed so they all cards? designed holiday cards, okay. holiday photo cards, in conjunction with our company. Okay. And a percentage of the proceeds is actually going to a number of different children's charities. Oh, isn't that so So it's so nice wonderful. to be able to give back for the holidays. Here there are so many different choices for your holiday cards, but this actually enables you to be able to help um, these children's charities that really need it this time of the year. Oh, that's so, so great. Thank you. These are some of the cards that they designed with us. Oh, okay. So which one is... Which so this is Molly Sims. Okay. And um, I think this one is... Is Marsha Crosses. Oh, okay. And uh, this one's Molly Sims as well. Oh, mm -hmm. so cute. And what, I mean, you're so right. How the heck do you decide which cards, mm -hmm. you know, even even invitations? When I was going through that whole process of designing the invitations for my friend's shower, I was overwhelmed. The, mm -hmm. the amount of choices out there are overwhelming. And really what you want is you want something that's quality, right. a design that really stands out and grabs your attention and it's creative, yes. and then you want a good price point. It sounds right. like you have all of that. Right, right. Well, uh, these cards are amazing because you could actually go to any CVS or Target store and the cards are available in the Kodak kiosks. Oh. So you walk up to the photo kiosks and you could personalize them all right there and the technology is actually fabulous where you could take any of your Facebook photos and you could put it on any of the photo cards. And then it prints it right and, there? And it prints it right there and it's not only your Facebook photos, Photos, it's all of your friends Facebook photos Wow so and when you're ordering your um, photo cards online it's like you have to order a hundred cards minimum and you pay for shipping and here you can actually order one photo card so you could order like different um, cards for your family and different cards for your friends you know maybe you want to put different photos yeah. on each or you could just order one card but um, the technology that. is amazing where you could take a color photo and you can make it black and white or you can make it sepia tone. You could um, wow. you could fix your you know whiten your teeth. You could fix your skin. So the technology is amazing, and and you could um, order your cards and you could go shopping and you could come back and pick them up. So it's oh efficient. Oh my gosh, I love also. that. Is that amazing? And are these kiosks in? Every CVS, every CVS, and every Target, and every Target. Oh my and gosh, there's I love a it. tab under Christmas cards that says Bonnie Marcus, oh. um, and then our celebrity cards for cards will be there. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now I have Thank to, you. I have to go really quick to a question here. Um, Gy. GY Boy 93 Dorothy, do you have any tips for someone who is interested in starting a business? Ah. That's a very good question. Uh, my sister and I, as Bonnie knows, and as a lot of our viewers know also, uh, are launching a women's fitted t-shirt line made Amazing. from 100% organic Amazing. cotton and lots of love. And we're actually going to be opening our website on Monday to take ah, orders, exciting. which is really exciting. Woo, the launch amazing. is coming up. So the name of our label is Biddle D, which is the word little, but with a B in front mm -hmm. of it. So Biddle D. 
my little sister is in business with me and she's Danielle so she's always been little D our whole lives and I've always been big D because I'm the old one yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. but anyway we went to our uh, our warehouse yesterday and we finally you know had a chance to really look at the bulk of the mm -hmm. of the shirts and that is just the most rewarding feeling. Oh, I can't wait to it see it. It was overwhelming amazing. going uh -huh. through and you know doing some quality control checks because we only we only want people to have the best shirts. Rhinestoning, sorry I should mention the shirts are embellished with rhinestones. Mm -hmm. Rhinestoning They're is not gorgeous. Oh my gosh They're she's so, so cute. beautiful. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. Rhinestoning is not a very precise uh, process. Uh, so we wanted to go through and make sure that everybody that buys a shirt is getting what they paid for. Right, um, right, right, right. And so it was a lot lot of work, but that feeling is incredible. And I'm sure it's the same feeling that you got when you walked into a CVS to pick up your prescription and went to the Kodak, Kodak kiosk yes. and saw the Bonnie Marcus it's tab. Amazing. It's amazing. It's incredible. so much fun to see your work to come to fruition like that. Definitely. So I guess what I would say then for this question, oh, oh thank you Latino B. Congrats on your new website. The website is uh, <laughs> www.biddled.com. It's B-I-T-T-L-E dash D. If you forget the dash, that's okay. It'll redirect you anyway. But uh, So will we will you be able to ship in time for the holidays yes, too? Yes, ah, the shipping is fabulous. It, the, uh, the U.S. shipping is two to three days standard shipping mm -hmm. at the price of $5.95. And if you want to expedite it and overnight it, then you can go through the shipping calculator and that do that too. That is amazing. But that's it's so going to be exciting. fast. Yes, yeah, so that's exciting. Um, so going back to this question, if I can give an answer to it and then we'll let Bonnie give sure, an answer sure, to sure. it. My number one tip for someone interested in starting a business would be to 100% believe in your dream. There's so many tips that I could give you. I could feel like I could write a book at this point yeah, on, yeah. <laughs> on starting a business. I mean, not that I'm an authority by any stretch of the imagination, not yet at least, um, but I think believing in yourself is very, very important because it allows you to visualize things that you want happening, things that you want to see happen. You just think about them, you visualize them, yes. you, you dream them to be a reality in your mind, and I promise you, the, the law of, of the energy and the positive attraction will work for you. But first and foremost, you have to believe in yourself because nobody else is going to if you don't. Yep. So that would be my number one. What, what do you think would be your number one? Um, you know, like we said before about American Express's Make Mine a Million Dollar Business Contest, I would go to their website. I think it's um, countmein.org or you could Google make mine a million dollar business, but it's amazing in terms of the um, focus groups and the amount of other entrepreneurs there to help you and to give you guidance and who have gone through this before. So in terms of you know how to set up my business, should I be a sole proprietorship, uh, an LLC, um, you know, what's the legalities, what are the financials? There are other small business owners that are so willing to help you and help you with advice. And I find that it's great to be able to be a part of a group because everyone's really going through the same thing when yes. you start a business. I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, I'm, I'm in the small business phase. Bonnie's out of that phase at this point. But that is just so amazing. Thank I you. love hearing about everything Thank that you're you. doing. Now, can we um, switch gears for a second of and talk course. a little yes, celebs? Yes, yes. Because I want to get to your holiday yeah, yeah. cards and everything, too. Um, but this week, I definitely want to talk about some juicy stories from the new issue. Everybody's wondering, you know, men love Jessica Simpson. I know that most guys that I've dated in the past, they all think Jessica Simpson embodies their idea of the highest yes, woman yes, in Hollywood. Yes, right. And why not? She's beautiful. She's has a little bit of curve on her. Mm -hmm. uh, She's so talented. So it's talented. Like she She's nothing. a great right. voice. Uh, but, but I have to say, I don't know. Now, you're a mom. That's yes. the other thing about Bonnie that's so remarkable. <laughs> you have two, three, three children. I, I, not even three children, three boys. Yes, three they're all very young. Boys. Yes, yes. I have uh, an eight-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a three-year-old. Oh, my gosh. So we're very busy. So my home is blue and filled with dinosaurs and superheroes, and my office is pink and pretty <laughs> and sparkly <laughs> and everything a girl would want. So Bonnie, I would say that that's my little girl. That's, yeah, that's your daughter. Right, so you really right. have four children. Exactly. Okay, that exactly. makes sense. That makes sense. The business is the hardest of them all. <laughs> I'm sure. So Jessica Simpson, uh, is really mm, she's really not dressing in, in a very flattering way for her pregnancy now listen I don't have any children so I can't really get out there and say you know what women are doing right or wrong when they're pregnant because when I'm pregnant like I might end up like a house I have no idea you know it, it very I well could happen. I think every pregnant woman is beautiful. Well that, okay now that's the point that I want to make so Jessica is definitely kind of popping out here a little bit um, and, and we spoke with, in touch spoke with the doctor, and the doctor was kind of concerned because they said for her body type she should gain approximately 25 to 35 pounds. Mm, that's not so much. It's not so much, but right now she's on her way to the 70 mark, which uh, sometimes can be dangerous. Right, 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 I mean, right. I think um, gestational diabetes and yes. there's all sorts of risks like yes, that. Yes, yes. So her, her face is still beautiful. She's glowing. She's happy. That's all that really matters, but she definitely 
is I, kind of, you know, letting herself go. I think a it's bit. important to find the right fashions for your pregnancy. Agreed. So Agreed. there are definitely ways that you could um, make your body, uh, you know, wear clothing that's more appropriate for your growing body. I, I agree. Yeah, so I think it might just be that she needs a little styling. Well, that's my big pet peeve with celebrities. I talk about a lot of female celebrities on here and about, you know, how, the, you know, they're boobs are popping out yes, or their, yeah, their yeah. hips are huge. And listen, I'm not here to be criticizing people, but I am here to say that if you're having, you know, a little bit of extra bloat or something in the middle, maybe you just gave birth, maybe it's the post baby weight, maybe you ate a huge Thanksgiving dinner like I did, you know, you're going to you're going to want to be a little bit smarter about your choices. Yes, and so agreed. that's the only point that I'm making. I I think women of every size are beautiful. Um, that's definitely something that I've always believed. It's something that certainly, you know, the tabloids, maybe not so much, but right, right. but Jessica Simpson, she is, she's looking good, but she just needs to be careful of that weight gain. Yeah, I wonder how she's feeling too. I right. mean, it's really important. Maybe she's not feeling so great. She's gaining so much weight, so she wants to try to wear something a little sexier, you know, to feel better. Right. But, I, I mm -hmm. just want to say, Carlos in NYC is saying exercise is the cure for everything. Carlos, mm -hmm. that's a really good point. And also, I know that people, you know, anyone should be exercising, you know, throughout the week, Ooh. whether you're pregnant, yes. you know, you, you can't do the same things that you used to do, but it's it's good for you. So, so Jessica, oh, Carlos is saying thanks. And you look younger, healthier, and sexier if you exercise. So, Carlos, I really appreciate that. I actually took kickboxing while I was pregnant. Did you? I, had, I went to a special pregnancy kickboxing class, and it was unbelievable. It truly got me through my pregnancy. It was amazing. Oh and, you gosh. know, we only lifted our leg high enough to be appropriate for the belly, and we only, and it was really specifically made to that. But the exercise class was amazing. Thing. And it, it made, made you me feel, feel good. good. Yeah, totally. I love that. I absolutely love that. Um, now, moving on, uh, getting away from Jessica Simpson, let's talk about Stacey Keebler. Because she is dating George Clooney, and mm. I'm, I'm loving this pair. I've said that from the beginning. I don't know what any, anybody else thinks. I mean, George Clooney should be dating me, first and foremost. <laughs> but, I mean, if he can't have me, you know, I am taken. He can settle for Stacey. No, I'm just getting out there. <laughs> I hope your boyfriend's not watching. I know, right? I just have always had a huge crush on George Clooney. Well, Stacey Keebler, you know, she's going to make out like a bandit here. Because even if George dumps her like he's dumped everybody else before right, her. Right, I hope right. that he doesn't but even if he does she has a little insurance policy in place because guess what she's been making so much money off of her own fame as a result of dating George Clooney. Right. She uh or, well, first of all, I should say he already bought her a $15,000 Cartier Love Bracelet. Mm. I've always wanted one of those. If anybody wants to send me an anonymous gift out there. The holidays just, are coming up. Just, yeah, I mean, you know, if, if you really love the show, you would like to send me a Christmas present, I'll accept I'll accept. I'll take Love one too. Bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> Bonnie, too, she's done great here giving advice to small businesses. Uh, but anyway, he's spending so much money on her, and she's become more in demand uh -huh. with events. Right. And hey, listen, monetize your platform while you got it. Because Stacey Keebler, I mean, not that many people know who she is. Right. She was a wrestler, then she was on Dancing with the Stars, but George Clooney is what really launched her into the fame. Of course. And when she's ready for her bridal shower invitations and her wedding invitation, she could come Bonnie Marcus Bonnie collections. Marcus. Exactly. exactly. Oh, I hope. <laughs> I was thinking. I hope that she goes to the altar that with him. That would be amazing. I, I would absolutely love that. Uh, now, going back into Christmas mode, because we did speak with uh, Nick Cannon, and we talked to him about his holiday wish list. I love, love him. this. That's so beautiful. I too. know. He, there's really like a gorgeous tree here he talks about uh you know his two beautiful babies being enough he made this delicious nick's naughty punch which i mm. love with sky vodka you know for great holiday parties now getting back into holiday mode let's mm. talk about your uh holiday cards because sure. i think these these are so adorable if you don't mind me just Thank showing you. these so Thank you. there's glitter on them which i'm a huge proponent of, of course. Gl glitter oh what is this is this my oh family. my gosh i love that i'm sorry my eye cute? just caught the back of the cards, and there's a picture of Bonnie with her three boys, and saying, the summer of 2002, Bonnie launched the Bonnie Marcus Collection, where fashion meets paper. Oh, I love that. And I see that you have that copyrighted. Yes, yes. Excellent. That's our so uh -huh. smart, so smart. Thanks. From her dining room table while expecting her first child. That's so cute. This is amazing. So, Thank so this, you. So this card has a woman shopping, and it says, tis the season. I mean, I love that. Happy holidays with little shopping bags. Oh, so, so these cute. cards are actually all available in the greeting card aisle at Target as well. 
and uh, it's incredible. Target decided to put our my family photo on the back because sometimes you know when you're a mom you really don't push the fact in business that you are a mom and you're running from board meetings to pick up to drop off to PTA meetings and they actually love the fact that here I was this shopping mom you know with my three kids behind me and that I was trying to do it all. Oh that's so, right and that makes sense. Yeah in addition to liking the story right. they actually put a picture of the kids on the back oh. of me so isn't that so nice? Again it's that moment where you saw that that you're your heart just probably melted for yourself. Right, right. I mean, you have, to, you have to give yourself, you have to really take those moments and really hold on to them. Yes. And really give yourself, you know, that, that ounce of credit You're that you so deserve. nice. Because I never true. stop and think about it. No, that, it's true, though, you. because my sister and I, in developing this company, it's just the two of us. She's a college student, so she has she her hands full. Realize that. Oh, yeah, she's a college student. She is actually in finals right now, and she drove all the way down from Connecticut to New Jersey to go to the warehouse yesterday. We were up at 6 o'clock this morning, and, and you really have to stop and really take in the moments. Yeah. You know, your brain is constantly spinning and you know you have people working for you which hopefully helps you and that's a good support team. Yes, yes. We're not at that point yet but but we need it. We at least need Well, at least you have it. each other to play we off do. of also. We have each other good. which is great. Yeah. I mean, we you know we we fight like sisters and business yeah. partners. We <laughs> cry. We you know, last night we got stuck in a rainstorm on our way to dinner. We were ready to, you know, kill each other by the time we got there. A few margaritas took care of everything. But anyway, getting back to these holiday cards, I love these. There's no greater gift than love. I love it's that time of year again with the sexy lady with the with the packages. So I used to actually be in fashion here in the city. I don't know if I told right, you I yes. worked for Diane von Furstenberg. Yes. Um, for years, so I really have that fashionable background. And then I was at the 92nd Street Y as their director of special events. So I combined my love of events and party planning with my background in fashion, and that's really the way my line developed. Oh, that was so perfect. Thank and you. And what did you do for DVF? Um, I did marketing, public mm -hmm. relations. It was actually just she and I in her small studio like 10 years ago before her whole resurgence. Wow. So it's amazing really how my business and her business <laughs> yeah. have grown a lot since then. And do you still but, keep in touch with her? Do you think you can do a cross-branding with her? Mm, that would be an interesting right? idea. What about a Diane von Furstenberg line of cards? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we can I only take about 30% like commission yes, on my yes, ideas. Exactly. <laughs> you have some great ideas. But really, some Diane von Furstenberg just came out with a with a home line yes. that celebrities have been going crazy over. Right. right and so right, right. I don't know, maybe there's something there. Mm, oh my fun. goodness, it is three minutes to the end of the show, which it just, the time flies. Which just blows amazing. my mind. It's incredible. There's a lot of conversation going on here, which I really, really like. Um, everybody seems really interested in what we're talking about. Um, Carlos, I keep going back to Carlos. Oh, sl oh, Sharon's a princess just said, the last time I checked, slender doesn't equal beautiful. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I think that is so important, and I completely agree with that. And Jessica Simpson, you know, is certainly not very slender right now. And I don't mean that in a, in a rude way, but just in observing. She's right. pregnant, you know. She's putting on you know some what? weight. Some people like that. But she's gorgeous. Look. She exactly, looks gorgeous, exactly. you know. Um, so really quick, before we leave, I want to go back to the Alexander McQueen's because these are a really, really hot new shade uh, for Christmas and, and Hanukkah. You know, Hanukkah's kind of late this year. It is. They're, like they're the right around time. the same yes, time, which yeah. is nice. And uh, and we are, you Ooh, know, we're they're focusing so on these hot. today. I love them. I just adore these today. Um, I just want to really quickly grab my notes from my new iPad. I mean, why not use it if I if I replaced it? Uh, but I just want to talk a little bit about these. They um, have graduated lenses, or they're suitable to for use with graduated lenses. They're available in black, also a deep olive with a gold, a Havana with a shiny brown, which is really probably very pretty. There's green metal detail on the front. Uh, they retail for $2.95, which is really not a bad price for mm -hmm. a pair of Alexander Ooh, McQueen's. They look really good. Um, the nice thing about these is that they're very reminiscent and they're, they're very reflective of his uh, style aesthetic mm -hmm. in his clothes, mm -hmm. which I really enjoy. I tried to go to the Alexander McQueen exhibit at the Met. It was a hot, one hot day during the summer. It was just about ending, and uh, the line, there was a four-hour wait. Yes. Four hours. But it was worth it. <laughs> no. I didn't wait. <laughs> I didn't wait because I had an appointment. But if I didn't have an appointment, I would have stood in that line because I think he's incredible incredible yeah, desire absolutely. and I think these sunglasses are just they're just something different you know like like just like stationery and, and invitations and cards H how do you know what to buy you don't want to buy the same old thing that everybody right, else right, has right right no you these wanna, are great you know gorgeous. and especially huh? for gifts you want to give something different right so you want to give different different cards like these are just you know when I go when I no offense to CVS but I went to CVS the other day to try to grab a birthday card for my dad and 
I, I left. I, I couldn't find anything. You find a Target. Right. Find our car. I do. I do. I agree. But I love these. Thank you. And, um, and, and what about these? Oh, gift oh my gosh. Yes. I I I forgot oh my gosh. We forgot to talk about these. So adorable. Guys, your ladies, I'm sure, will love these. And ladies, grab them for your sisters, for your moms, for these your These are on our, our website, which is uh, bonniemarcus.com. With a fabulous pair of shoes, I can conquer anything. And I love the leopard palm. Thank you. And how much are these? They're $20. Oh. And tomorrow is free. Free shipping Friday. So free shipping on everything tomorrow. Free shipping. Free Do you need shipping. a code for that or just anybody? No, anybody on our oh website. Oh my gosh, I so, love uh, it. BonnieMarcus.com. Okay, I love it. All right, um, oh, 86 Cuddy, can you get them polarized and with a prescription? Mm, uh, I, I'm not sure, but if you go on solstice-sunglasses.com, I'm sure you can find the answer to that question. Or there's somebody that you can email there that you can ask. Mm -hmm. uh, I unfortunately don't know. But, oh, Carlos is saying you two ladies look gorgeous, which is really <laughs> sweet. Well, thank you, Carlos. Thanks, Carlos. And, and thank you, everyone, because your questions today have been really wonderful and your input has been wonderful. Thank you for tuning in to the In Touch Weekly Show. I'm your host, Dorothy Cassisari. You can follow me on Twitter at Dorothy Lauren, also In Touch Weekly, at In Touch Weekly. That's an easy one. You can also check out InTouchWeekly.com for all the latest in celebrity news and headlines. We always have the good scoop, which is awesome. And then also you can check me out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com backslash Dorothy TV page and biddledee.com for gift ideas starting Monday. Ooh, I cannot can wait to see. I can't wait to see. Look at all your gift ideas. Yeah, That's exactly. It. You're all done. And <laughs> big, big thank you to Bonnie Marcus. Thank you for having me. Bonnie Thank Marcus you. Collections. She is so talented and she's a mom. She is an incredible designer, savvy businesswoman. You got it all going for thank you. Thank you. And your website, bonniemarcus.com. Yes, yes. It has everything that you need that you saw here today. So great Christmas ideas, great Hanukkah ideas. Even if there's no special occasion, yes. you know, if you have a gift, Thank I guess. You. So anyway, thanks, thanks guys holidays. so much, and we will see you here next week, Thursday. Come back at 2.30. Bye-bye.